Cruise news time. Well, we have a couple big announcements coming out from Disney Cruise Line. We have a cruise line that's saying goodbye to one of its oldest cruise ships. And Virgin Voyages is in the headlines. They're changing their leadership. They're raising funds. And we have the story of the cruiser who was too blind to cruise kicked off a cruise ship for being blind. Well, that story has an interesting update. Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face for your face on Monday, September the 11th, 2023. And well, for me, it happens the same way every year when I finally make the connection of the date that it is September the 11th. I am transported back to 2001, 22 years ago, when terrorists attacked Americans on American soil. Close to 3,000 lives were lost in that attack. And so we do our best on September the 11th to remember and honor those who were lost. And we take a moment to recognize that sad day and honor those who were lost. All right, uh, here we go. Let's talk about two big announcements coming out from Disney Cruise Line. These announcements were dropped at the Destination D23 Expo event. It's a biennial event. I had to look that up. That, ha that means it happens every other year where a bunch of Disney lovers come out and listen to the latest announcements about what's going on in Disney. And they talk about everything from theme parks to the cruise lines. And we got two big cruise announcements. First and foremost, we, well, really, the announcements are we know the names of things now. There's been a couple projects in the works cruise-wise for Disney Cruise Line. The first name that we learned was the name of the new Disney mega ship coming out in Asia in 2024. Disney was able to pick this ship up for a steal after the company that built most of the cruise ship went bankrupt. And now Disney is the owner of a new shiny cruise ship. Of course, they're putting millions of dollars into completing this cruise ship. It will hold 6,000 passengers and the name of that new Disney mega ship will be the Disney Adventure. Fun fact, before you could get into that Destination D23 Expo, you had to know the secret word, and the secret word was Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata means no worries for the rest of our days. I don't know. I've never been to one of those Disney events. I'm sure you just bought a ticket and you had a badge. I'm sure you didn't have to say Hakuna Matata but I probably would. But wait, there's more Disney Cruise Line news. They're also developing a new private destination in the Bahamas on the island of Eleuthera. And now that spot has an official name. It's gonna be called Lookout Key. So you got Castaway Key and Lookout Key. And fun fact, in case you didn't know, to get entry into Lookout Key, you have to be on a Disney Cruise Line cruise, but to get you know through the gates there at the private resort, you also have to say Hakuna Matata. Is this making your mouse ears perk up a little bit? Do you love it? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two, Aida is having one of those boys to men moments as they're saying goodbye to one of their oldest cruise ships, Aida Aura. Aida Aura. Aida Aura. I love the names of those cruise ships just because it's pronounced Aida. All those cruise ships have an interesting name. Aida Aura, a 20 plus year old cruise ship. Aida Aura is on her final voyage. She's finishing up a 12 day Western European cruise. And then that's it. She's a gone pecan. To be my sunshine after the rain. Let's face it, it, it's so hard, so hard to say goodbye. Am I right? Goodbye, Aida Ora. I got the greatest compliment on the show the other day. Somebody said, you talk a lot of guff. I don't even know what that is, but I'm taking it as a compliment. Maybe I'm singing too much guff also. So let's just move on. Let's move on to the next cruise news story. Let's talk about Virgin Voyages. Of course, I dropped the sad news recently that their latest cruise ship was being delayed indefinitely. The brilliant lady, not quite ready for prime time. And of course, that was a big piece of news, but that wasn't the only news. At the same time, Virgin Voyages just closed out another round of fundraising raising $550 million to put into the company for whatever it needs, I suppose. 
and they have changed their CEO. Tom McAlpine has been the CEO since Virgin Voyages started, and Tom is moving on to the board of directors. The new position of CEO is going to Nirmal Saviria Mutu, who currently serves as the president and chief experience officer. Ch -ch -ch changes. You know, I think Virgin is doing some very interesting stuff in the cruise industry, but it is a bit of a tumultuous time. Of course, they started their whole cruise line right before the cruise shutdown, which caused all kinds of turmoil. Unfortunately, Virgin continues to push forward, continues to innovate, and hopefully with this influx of cash and the change of leadership, they will continue to move forward as a cruise company. Now, I gotta tell you about what happened to the person that was deemed last November to be too blind to cruise. But before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. It's an easy peasy. You just click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. YouTube will send you a little pop-up in your YouTube app when a new show comes out. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, well, it, it helps. It helps us out. So again, thank you in advance. Do you remember the story from last November of Donovan Tilsley, the Paralympian swimmer who was booked on a Virgin Voyages cruise leaving Miami? He's blind and was cruising solo. And shortly after he boarded the cruise ship, he was approached by two crew members who told him that because he was blind and cruising solo, that he would not be able to remain on the cruise ship, that he was too blind to cruise, that they did not think it was safe for him to be cruising alone. And well, he got kicked off. He got kicked off and he went to social media and shared his story. And almost immediately, the vice president of Virgin Voyages reached out to Tilsley and said, we're sorry, we made a mistake. They flew him to the next port of call in Roatan and put him on the cruise ship. And he continued on with his cruise. After he got off of that cruise, he stayed in contact with the vice president of Virgin Voyages. And then he was subsequently invited on a special cruise, a special cruise where he was able to meet Sir Richard Branson. Of course, Richard Branson is is the founder of that Virgin brand. And well, the latest update to the story is that he has been hired by Virgin Voyages as an accessibility consultant. He recently went on a cruise with a companion. They did a deep dive into the accessibility options on Virgin, and he is now consulting Virgin leadership on accessibility on their cruise ships. The reason I share this story is because he was asked specifically about being angry. He was put in a situation that many of us will never be put in, and he rightfully so, was angry when it happened. And I tell you what, Donovan lays out a quote here that I think many of us could hold on to. He says this, there is a time to be angry, there is a time to be frustrated and yell and scream and jump up and down, but I think positive collaboration is really the way to go. The work that I'm doing now, I hope that I can pave a way so that this doesn't happen to anybody else. I guess simply put, he got angry, he got over it, and he got busy to make a positive change. And I think that might be great advice for many of us. I think many of us get angry and stay angry. And that's not good for the soul and it's not good for society or family or whoever your circle of influence is. So uh, yeah, a great story and congratulations, Donovan, on your latest endeavor. And I know some cynics out there will be like, oh, Virgin's just treating this guy like this. So you have the positive story. Well, maybe so. Whatever it takes. You know, if it's just a fluff piece for them, who cares? Something positive is still coming out of something negative, And I think that's what we should focus on. Boom. That is your cruise news. I sure hope you enjoyed it. You can show your support for the show by hitting the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise.